Hey, good afternoon everybody. This is Organic Dairyman. Welcome to my channel today. Today is, well, Tuesday, April 7th. Hope everybody's doing great. I hope you're, you're not sick or you're healthy and getting through this pandemic thing. Um, I'm doing great. So anyways, um, I forgot yesterday, I need to show you what the skid loader looked like when brother got done power washing it. <laughs> looks a lot cleaner so yeah but anyways that's what it looks like it's cleaner it hasn't looked at that good for a long time so anyways yeah I'm coming to you a little bit later here today I know it's just been kind of a slower day um, it is a beautiful day though nice and warm out um, and uh ooh, sorry about pointing the sun i keep forgetting i'm changing the angles and the sun keeps not to get the sun in your guys's view <laughs> yeah so um i'm just gonna get going here at the feeding chores and um but yeah um it's a, it's a beautiful day out tomorrow things are gonna change though um and it's still wet back here I know people are probably wondering when we're going to get out in the field. Well, you'd have to ask Mother Nature that, I guess. Um, it just depends on, you know, it's still wet out in the field. If we tried to go out and do anything like any disking or anything right now, we'd just be making mud balls. It just needs to dry out a little bit more. We need, we need a lot. We need about a week of this kind of weather to get things dried out in the field, about a week. We don't need any more moisture, so. Yeah, so I'm going to get going here at the feeding chores. Um, what else is going to go on here today? I'd like to try to get the drill up to the yard. It might just move the corn planter out of the way in front of the repair shop and bring the drill up there and try to work at getting those rubber wheel things on. Or, um, we'll see here what happens. But it's a nice day, so you guys should probably work at that. So anyways, I'm going to get going with the feeding and we're going to see what goes down here the rest of the day. Um, I'm probably going to run this video into tomorrow. So, yeah. So, let's get busy. Okay, I just got done putting the high moisture corner on the feeder wagon a little bit ago. And I'm going to get finished loading this up and then I'm going to bring that drill up to the yard. And and work on that see if we get see about getting those packer wheels uh, the rubber liners replaced okay so now I'm gonna take this up in the yard and work on it and if you notice my brother's tractor has gone out here he just drove it up to the yard just to use it to raise the end gate up on that manure spreader so he could spray that bed liner stuff on that's all I used it for was that but anyways I have been thinking and thinking and thinking about how do you get this thing off and the more I think about it I just think I noticed I was I think the best thing would be to do because each of these wheels sits on a pivot is if you think if you take this bolt loose here and there should be another one there should be another one right up there Some place to take loose and um, then I think if you jack this thing up high enough this thing will sit on and we can roll it right off and then we can get that gang bolt thing out of there and then take them off one by one that's my thinking but I don't know I've never done done it before on here so you guys are going to learn with me, unless there's somebody watching, you probably already know how to do this. But this is the first time I've ever attempted to do it, so um, I'm just trying to think of the, the best way to do it. Because I just don't think, even if we jack it up and try to get in there and take that bolt loose, <laughs> I just don't think that thing's going to come very easily out of there. I just don't think. I know, too, another thing I'm going to have to do because of the drive chain in here. Um, I'm gonna have to disconnect this drive chain here. There should be a connector link here someplace. 
so they're probably gonna have to disconnect that um I don't know there's probably gonna be no easy way to do it I just don't know I just I want I want to do it the easiest way but I don't really know what the easiest way to do it is but like I said I just don't think that bolt is gonna come that easy I just I just don't think it will we'll find out Okay, as you can see, I got this thing off. Oh, there's a bit, all this dirt in here. Sure made it seem a lot heavier. Once they get that dirt out of there, it won't be quite so heavy to put it back up in there. It's still gonna be heavy, but not as heavy with that dirt on there. So I got the impact here. And so I'm gonna take that nut loose and see if it can start driving out that bolt in there. I don't know how hard it's gonna come, but it's the only way can do it but it's not gonna be fun putting it back together again getting that thing back up on there I wish I had it on the ground now but I guess we'll um oh I'll get it back up there if we have to we could put it like in the skid loader bucket or something and nudge it up there we'll figure out a way but that was the best way I could think of how to do it but we'll find out how hard it's gonna be to get that gang bolt out Be too bad I might have to take these things off here and I put everything so I know how it goes back together and we get Humpty Dumpty back together well I've got the other ones to look at too so so I'm gonna keep working at this and see what I can get off or I gotta at least try to get one of those rubbers on there.
Huh. Okay, I got that one off. I'm still trying to get this one on. I don't know, unless these are just a size too small, but of course these have been stretched out. I don't know, is there some special tool? Some spreader thing you can put on there and spread that out? I don't know. Oh, I might have to call in John Deere and find out. But I'm gonna keep working at it. Not too hard to get off, which is getting them on. Okay, I got I got two of the rubber liners on. We got six more to go. Or this is, I guess we decided we're just gonna place them all. We only we got six originally, but they all look like they need to get replaced. As long as it got it off, might as well do it. So a lot of work to get it, and I just want to get it done right. But yeah, it just basically takes a little bit of time and a lot of muscle. Just two pry bars. I don't know where that other one went to. Oh, it fell down. Yeah. Yeah, just a pry bar and a screwdriver and a hammer and pretty much what it takes to get these off. So, anyways, I gotta go eat something here and uh, the sun is going down right over there. You can see. So, uh, I guess I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey, good morning everybody. How's everybody doing today? Yeah, it's a brand new day. The day is, what is today? Wednesday, April 8th. Anyways, um, I need to, I gotta move back this thing up here a little bit because um, they're supposed to be bringing some speedy delivery. It's supposed to be bringing some uh, soybean meal. And so I just gotta back this up out of the way. So one thing I get the pallet for. The other thing is he needs to drive his truck right over here and the track is in the way. So I'm gonna quick back this thing up and hopefully try to avoid hitting that manure spitter back there. Just back it up ever so carefully. So I'm out of the room here. Okay. There, that's done. So, anyways, he's gonna be coming here. The soybean or the speedy delivery guy's gonna be delivering the soybean meal here in a little bit. And so, I'm just gonna get the loader tractor up and get everything ready to go, and then I'll start working here at morning chores. But I just wanted to get that stuff. I'll have to work on this later today. Get some more of those wheels done. I only got two done last night. Actually, last night. I did work on this a little bit. I got all the other wheels off, so. So, oh. So, we got plenty of things, plenty of stuff to work on around here today. General Zukov. General Zukov. Yeah, you're a good boy. Here comes my crazy brother. What are you doing? You slept in this morning. <laughs> uh, so, anyways, um, my brother's here. I gotta go call John Deere here and Got my list of parts, I gotta get some ordered here, so. And uh, I'll get back with you in a little bit. 
Okay, I called in a John Deere and some of my parts for my tractor came in, some of them didn't. But uh, we needed to get to order two more rubber wheels because the other day we only got six. And so we have needed to replace eight as long as we have it off. This section off, we're just gonna replace it, all of them be done with it. So, anyways, my brother he has to go into town for something and so something else, and he's gonna stop at John Deere when he gets done with this other thing that he has to do. And he's gonna pick up everything we got, and we need to get an oil filter for this, so he's gonna get that, and we're gonna get an oil filter for the, the A that's down there. So, anyways, um, I'm gonna work at the feeding here. But in the meantime, um, why I'm doing the feeding, my brother Pat, he is gonna work at, he's gonna start cleaning out the baby calf pens up here. So, um, I don't know what he's trying to do here, trying to wreck. So you gotta get out the, ba the panels out. So, he's gonna, he's gonna work at that, and I'm gonna do the feeding, I'm gonna set you guys up in there, and do a time-lapse video of him cleaning that out here. So. That's what we'll be doing, and then when I get done with the feeding, I'm going to go back and work on that. Okay, my brother got this all cleaned out. The next thing, I guess we're probably we gonna put all those panels back in there right over here. But, uh, I don't know, my brother Steve, he's gonna probably help him do that. But anyways, um, I gotta go back and work on that drill. But before I go back and work on that drill, I just wanted to show you one thing that my brother, um, my brother Pat and my brother Steve did yesterday. So I'll just show you here that in just a second. Okay, this is what my my um, brother Pat and my brother Steve did yesterday. They hung this gate. Um, it's a it's a Vern gate. I don't know if you guys can see that. Vern's manufacturing. Anyway, so yeah, this was the old gate. It's been kind of <laughs> it's not very it wasn't in very good shape anymore. It was just kind of more of a well, it just was in bad shape. And so anyways, that's what they did yesterday. I didn't get any video footage of it. I probably should have taken another camera and get a time-lapse video of it. But anyways, we'll head back over to the drill and uh, well, we'll go work on that. Or I'll go work on it. You guys are just gonna watch. Okay, so I'm gonna start working on this. I got my pry bars and screwdriver, and I'm gonna start peeling the rubbers off the other ones. And uh, at least today, I just want to get all the rubber on rubbers, liners on the wheels. So, like I said, these two are done. I gotta get the rest of the six done. And if it's not raining tomorrow, I'm gonna put the those wheels back on the back there, but. I, I just I just can't express to you how much I dislike doing this job. I really don't like it. I just uh, no, I don't like these sunglasses either. I can't wait to get rid of these sunglasses. I did order a pair on Amazon. They're supposed to be coming at the end of the week. But I just don't like these sunglasses. I like the ones that wrap around your eyes tight. They don't let light in. <laughs> so those are the two things I don't like: these sunglasses, and I don't like doing that job. But I'll set you guys up. So you can watch me work on it really fast and uh, yeah if anybody out there doesn't like these time-lapse videos too just I mean if, if maybe I'll do a change up or mix up I'll do some where I show myself working on it in real time but I just like to do the time-lapse because it's a way of showing what you're doing but doing it you know it's not too slow but it's 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 fast and it just kind of gives you the idea that I was working on something 
But if, if anybody wants me to change something up a little bit in my videos, let me know. I maybe won't do so many time-lapse videos of certain jobs. I don't know. But, you know, just let me know down in the comments if you don't like it. But um, Anyways, I'm going to do a time-lapse right here. I gotta take a little break from working on that uh, drill here because Pat broke the barn cleaner because he was playing on his phone again. Did you, Pat? Yeah, you broke the barn cleaner because you're playing on your phone. <laughs> no, he didn't break it. We gotta tighten up. The belt here is slipping. So I gotta tighten that up here. It ain't my fault you don't take care of your equipment. Yeah, I know we should replace this belt. So like that's grease. what I'm doing here right now. Then I'm gonna go back and work on the drill for a little bit more. And uh, we will see. I hope I get this to work here. But I'll be back with you guys in just a little bit. That don't look good. Uh, there, got it going. So I'm gonna go back to the press drill. Okay, um, I started the process of putting this back together. I got two more wheels I gotta put on. And, uh, Actually, I kind of forgot how this was supposed to go, so I had to look back at some of my video clips that I took yesterday of this to remember how it exactly went. You wouldn't think it'd be that difficult, but for some reason, I don't know. Anyways, so that is getting almost back together. Then I was looking over these other ones just to see how, you know, dub double check to make sure I was doing it right because you can't really go by these because they're a little bit different because they're spaced out a little different you have to go by the one that was on there so anyways next time i do it i'm going to take a picture of i have to do another one but i am going to have to do another one because i was just looking in here and i don't know if you guys can see this or not i'll get my flashlight out there is a bearing out on this one on this gang right here oh uh, there's a bearing out yeah when you know and that's gonna have to be fixed so um that means that i'm gonna have to pull this yeah this section's gonna have to come off i don't think well i might just do it as long as i got it off i might just replace this one here for sure that one maybe this one and that's all I'm going to replace, so. Yeah. So, that's what we're going to do. So. Anyways, I'm going to work at this a little bit more, and then I'll finish up the video here and get back with you. Okay, I worked on it just a little bit more here. I, I got the lawn spacer in there, but I got to get it lined up. I think we're going to have to have some help to hold that thing. This thing is so hard to get this right. I just got to get two more wheels on here and then I can drive this ahead and we can get that back up on there. T maybe tomorrow if it's not raining. 
So, so I'll get this fixed and then I guess I'll have to pull that one off too. It just seems like it never fails. Anytime we buy something in an auction sale or anything used from anybody, we always have to do fixing on it before we, um, we can use it. It always works it. That's always how it works. Oh, it's kind of one of these, that kind of a job is the kind of job you only want to have to do once in your entire lifetime. Never want to have to do it again. But I guess you get to do it again because you got to do that. <laughs> uh, I guess. I guess that's why we didn't pay a lot for this drill as much as that other one that we wanted to get. We paid. A, this one was like. I don't know. It was almost. What was it? Twenty, twenty, eight hundred dollars less than this other drill that we were looking at on an auction sale to, uh, that we that went for. That's what that other drill went for that we were interested. It was in a lot better. It was a little better shape, but it went for more money. I guess that's why we got a good deal on this one. I mean, just a little bit of fixing. But anyways, I gotta go eat something, guys. So um, the sun just went down, and. Uh, I gotta eat something here. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter, at Organic Dairyman. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, share this video with a friend or family member, and oh, what else? I can't remember now. But anyways, did I? I can't even remember now if I just said to check me out on Instagram and Twitter, at Organic Dairyman. If I did, you hear it, you hear it twice, so. I'm kind of a little scatterbrained right now because it's been a long day. So um, hopefully tomorrow won't be raining and I could get that one back on and start tearing that one off. So anyways, guys, have a good evening. Take care. Stay healthy. Stay safe. And uh, I'll catch you later. <laughs>